Well, good evening to you. Hope you've all had a, a great day. Here's some of my friends have been out in the garden having barbecues. Um, we've had family um, join us in the barbecue, not as in family come over and see us, obviously. We've got family in the house, <laughs> a big one, and they've all um, come and joined in with the family meal, which is great. And the, southern, and the sun to boot is fantastic. Um, this evening, uh, we're hoping to um, have a bit of fun and games with um, family and friends. They give us another ring, um, FaceTiming, and um, we've got our questions ready. Um, if this is a success, maybe our church would want to do one as well. Here we go. Uh, so I shall be quick, because I think they may be calling me on this phone uh, in a few minutes' time. Today I've got a good one. You'll know this. L. God. <laughs> Numbers 23, 22. God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox. Now, El um, doesn't actually appear um, often in the Bible um, just as a name of God, which, um, as a matter of fact, in Hebrew, it may, it's just the root word. It means power, strength, um, or might. Uh, but it is the basic word for God. It's also uh, a basic word for pagan gods, not only God himself. Um, and um, you've heard me uh, mention El Gibor, the mighty God, and El Shaddai, um, all-sufficient one. Um, God, who, that, not that one there, God, uh, God almighty. So they're very similar to power, might and strength. So what we have to remember is that, um, that um, a lot is meant uh, by a name, which I've already mentioned. And to describe uh, God as a mighty one isn't sufficient. So you get the two words combined to make um, God what well, we magnify his name, don't we? It just makes him more magnificent. It's, it's just an ability to describe his magnificence because God has so many different attributes. We can't sum them up in, you know, in just a mere handful of um, adjectives um, or even a book full um, of, of um, sentences and connotations. He is so big and immense. So this just demonstrates um, how omnipotent he is um, and um, his strength uh, by combining these two um, names together. You see, using L with other Hebrew names is just not simply like having a, a last and um, first name and a last, na last name. Um, it has to be combined to encompass who God really is. Catch you tomorrow um, and I hope that I explain that <laughs> Best I can anyway.